container footers. Now I'm going to create a couple footers. And when we create these footers, for example, here, number of lines, we can indicate from what column we're going to create this, this footer. I'd say credit amount. And the operation is going to be, well, instead of number of lines, yeah, let's say number of lines, then I'm going to select maybe the register date. And when I hit the button, one second, I'm going to put here number of lines. When I hit the button save, it shows me all the different containers. So I can decide in what containers do I want to sh um, use these footers. So I could have them only in one container or in several. Why is this important? Let's imagine I have different containers. One of them is showing me all the number of lines that have a high risk, and the other container is showing me all the lines that have a low risk. Well, in the footer, I want to have two different footers, one that displays the information of all the lines that have a low risk and another one with all the lines that have a high risk. Okay, so it makes sense to be able to create a footer based on different containers. So here I'm going to say, well, I want to use this in all these different containers and I'll save and exit. I'm going to create one more footer. Maybe I'm going to call it total. This time we're going to use the sum. The column is going to be credit amount. When I hit save, I'm going to say I don't want to use it in any container. The only place I want to use it is in the main group of fields. So I'll save and exit. And now we have our footers created. The next thing I want to show is how to use these footers in the process. So let's say I'm here in a process and I go to panel. And here we can see the different footers. Okay, well, they're not exactly the footers I created because this is from the other group of fields. That's called credit requests that I already had created. But anyways, it's basically the same thing. Here we can see the name of the group of fields. The next thing we can see is the name of the container. Afterwards, we can see the name of the column. And finally here, we can see the name of the, of the footer. Okay, so when we want to bring a group of fields to the panel, we already know how it's done. We just click on Add Fields. We select the group of fields that we want. It was called Credit Request, so we type in here Credit. And I can bring the group of fields to the panel of the process. But if I want to bring the footers as independent fields, I have to mark this option here. And here we can see the footers. We can see all the footers always have an A in front. And we can see again the name of the group of fields, the name of the. Well, this time, if it doesn't have a name of a container, this means that this footer belongs directly to the group of fields. Okay, but up here we do have group of fields. I think this is, no, this, this would be the container. Okay, so here I have group of fields, container, column, and footer. Okay, and we always have an A in front. This indicates that this is a footer. If we want to look for a group of fields. Okay, we can see we all we have to do is mark this option here and look for the name. If we want a footer, for example, total. If we see it a lot of times, this means because it means that this, this footer here is actually, it belongs to, well, there's different footers that belong to different containers. Okay. Once we add them to a form, we could decide to add one or two or all of them to the form. And then we'd see different values in each footer.